him and Jambalat Bisharmov of Russia, two recent graduates from Aiba World Youth Championships who've done everything as you, stepping up to these senior elite world champs and, and have both done brilliantly. Jennifer Huggins of Canada is our referee. And we are underway. We're in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. And this a contest between boxers from the Russian Boxing Federation and Ukraine. The Southpaw wearing red is Vadim Mosayev, 28 years of age. One of three Russian finalists, and he's been put under pressure by the swarming attack from the boxer wearing blue, who had just scored with a body, and then not too far away to the body, and then not too far away with a right hand to the head. And Mosayev has come out flat-footed and bombing away. He's a terrific athlete, often up on his toes, dodging dart and left and right, but he is really plowing a furrow in the canvas, sitting down on his shots and looking to establish himself against his more mature but not necessarily more experienced opponents because Musayev comes to the ring as the reigning national champion of Russia as he takes a hard left right on the inside after he got through the backhand of his own but he has very little experience outside of his homeland he boxed in the 2020 Euro Cup in Bosnia Herzegovina last year but other than that he's been exclusively inside of Russia and even though he is only just appearing in the senior ranks as he scored a good left jab. Zakariev, you mentioned that global success early this year in Poland. And there's a beautiful left-right combination that makes the man in red become completely disorganized. And then he was clipped by a left hook. And a beautiful right hand once again. He's being beaten to the punch consistently. There's a jolting left jab. And Musayev of the Russian Boxing Federation has a look on his face that seems to suggest he doesn't know what's hitting him. But I can tell you, it's Yuri Zakariev, the 19-year-old sensation from Odessa in Ukraine, who has started this gold medal bout in terrific fashion, looking to etch his name into the history books with a result of the highest order, of the most unlikely order. And in the first two minutes of this round, he has acquitted himself very well. And Musayev looks a little bit gun-shy, just trying to get his straight punches back together now because they are his hallmark. It was a thunderbolt of a left cross that he used to take out the Serbian boxer. That punch right there off the ropes. But Zakariev walked through it and continued to go in search of his own offense with his man against the strands. Approaching 30 seconds to go in the opening round. Action at center ring. And Zakariev takes a hard left hand to the body there but he hasn't even started to demonstrate his switch hitting skills and his fleet footed movement around the boxing ring. Tremendous support in the Stark Arena for both boxers who will be able to draw inspiration from that. But Zakariev has set his stall out early as he scores with a long spearing right hand to the body. Short of the mark, but then Musayev was short of the mark also when he went for his attempted response. What an opening round for the teenager from Ukraine. Set his stall out early, set about his man, and outboxed him comprehensively for my money during the course of that opening round. 100%, that was very, very impressive from Shakarayev. Um, it's interesting watching fighters evolve over the course of a couple of weeks. And in his previous fights, there had been a lot of extravagant movement, particularly in the in the opening round, he takes out 110-9s. There was no other way you could score that. You can make a case for a 10-8 there, actually. And one thing we've been asking of him when we saw him in the semi-finals run, wasn't it, was maybe he could just slow things down a bit, just punch off a more solid base. And that's exactly what he came out and did. He planted his feet and he punches hard. You can see he punches hard. He caught him with a right hand at one point, And I thought Jennifer Huggins might step in for the, for the standing count. That is a statement of an opening round there. And as you said, and it was exactly the right description. He looked a bit shell-shocked there, Musayev, at one point, like he'd been hit by a bus almost, and he doesn't quite know what's going on. So into the second round, Yuri Zakhariev sprinting out to centre ring and looking to back his man up once again. Doubled him over with that right hand to the body and then scored with a 
Left hand upstairs, straight right driven into the body once again. And Mosayev simply cannot find any range or rhythm. Not too far away with that southpaw left. And that will have served, of a, served as a reminder to Zakariev not to get too gung-ho. Because this man has the power of punch to turn around the contest with a single shot in the blink of an eye. 30 seconds gone in this second round. And Musayev landing his best shot of the contest here in the second. That big backhand that he went in search of there. But it was long and over the head of the boxer in blue. So Zakariev just a little bit more circumspect here now. Featherlight left coming in and there's another driving left cross that scores for Musayev. But then to his credit, Zakariev comes right back. And that in itself is a statement when in the ring with a puncher. Exchange of shots, right uppercut gets through from Zakariev on the inside as Musayev was looking for his own success. So, Musayev spoken to by the referee about pushing down on the head of his opponent. It's a couple of times he's been spoken to in that regard in this bout. So he won't want to pick up a warning from the referee as again he's doubled over at the hip. By that body shot, he scored with a southpaw left once again. And Musayev just stealing a glance to his corner. Couldn't quite see the instructions that were being sent to him by the coaches. But he's got to do something different here. And I think he's got to get busier. But look how he's disrupted by that lead left jab from the man in blue. Who is acquitting himself very well indeed here on the global stage of a senior world championships. Terrific right hand once again. The left jab was almost a decoy because while he was throwing that, he did the same combination once again. Decoy left jab, rapid fire right cross, and both of the backhands have found a home onto the target of the head of Vadim Musayev. He shook his head contemptuously as he's put on the end of straight shots once again. But when you see a boxer react like that, especially one as impassive as Musayev, you can guarantee that the punches which caused the reaction certainly got their attention. Right hand success once again is the better shot during that exchange from Zakariev. The Ukrainian corner cheering near man on because he is boxing beautifully against the reigning Russian national champion. Whiplash of a right hand glances across the abdomen of the man in red. Ten second clap of sounds here. Closing seconds of round number two. And after a hard left hand was driven in early by Musayev to make Zakariev just a little bit more circumspect Lands a jab to demonstrate the authority and superiority that he demonstrated in the second round once again. Took the first unanimously. I expect the second to be the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is terrific stuff from Zakharayev. I mentioned in the break between the first and second just how he's planted his feet more, slowed everything down a little bit more. 4-1 in favour of Zakharev that second round. Not entirely sure how you would give that to Musayev, but it's not really going to matter because he's got a two-point lead with four judges. So now Musayev needs 10-8s here. He needs something huge. But that extravagant upper body movement, those reflexes, they're still there if he needs them. But he stood on the borderline of range, in the pocket a lot of the time. But he's, as I say, he slowed those feet down. He's got a solid base to punch off, and he hits hard. You can tell that he hits hard. Faultless from him, really, so far, I would say. So into the third and final round we go. The teenager wearing the blue and gold of Ukraine, Yuri Zakhariev, is in a commanding position, having taken the first round unanimously as he scores with a right hand out of the orthodox stance once again. And how he's approaching this, well, that was a question I was going to pose because his compatriot, Oleksandr Kizniak, has a big swing and a miss by the South Poor in red. Oleksandr Kizniak was in the lead by a country mile against Herbert Konsei-Shout in the gold medal bout in Tokyo. As Zakariev just scored with the right hand to the body, but continued to use the same approach that got him that commanding lead. On the front foot, pressing his man, didn't manage the lead, because that's not in his DNA, and he walked onto a picture-perfect left hook, which took him out of the contest and off the gold medal rostrum when he practically had both feet on it. Beautifully picked right hand again from Zakariev, who perhaps is learning from his compatriot's approach. Alexander Kizniak losing for the first time in the Olympic cycle in the gold medal bout in the 75-kilogram middleweight division in Tokyo. 
And again, he has to be wary of that because Musayev is a serious puncher, particularly with that backhand. Scores with a featherlight right cross. And there's an increasing air of desperation about Musayev works. Musayev's work, who is folded over once again by a brilliant backhand to the body. And then it was followed up by a range finding, scoring left jab. Terrific performance of such maturity from Yuri Zakariev, who is on the cusp of making Aiba World Championship boxing history here. Beautiful right hand to the body once again. And these are shots that are precise and potent and loaded with plenty of power and Musayev continuing to press he'll believe that he has the accuracy and the power of punch to turn this one around with a single shot but he's increasingly entering that realm here now but with regard to the history that Zakariev is about to make and he would have made it irrespective of the outcome back in 2004 Bolton's Amir Khan Great Britain's Amir Khan took world junior silver as it was then, excuse me, World Junior Gold, which is the World Youth level, it had to change the name with the emergence of the Youth Olympics, and then seamlessly went to an Olympic silver where it took the legendary Mario Kindela Mesa of Cuba to keep him off the gold medal rostrum. So had he had lost here, that's what Zakariev would have emulated in terms of global successes seamlessly from the, ju from the youth to the senior ranks. But with just... 10 seconds to go in this gold medal bout. He has produced a performance of memorable maturity, sensational variety, daring do, and terrific concentration to completely neutralize the power-punching boxer, Vadim Musayev of the Russian Boxing Federation. The reigning national champion could do absolutely nothing with this teen Tyro from Odessa in Ukraine, Yuri Zakariev is about to be crowned as the world champion in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. And what a coronation year it has been. First of all, World Youth Championship gold in Kielce in Poland when Andy and I were on hand to commentate. And here, some seven months later in Belgrade, he's about to be announced as the world champion in the light middleweight division at the senior world championships. That is why he's breaking out into a smile early. The announcement, a mere formality. Let's get the official verdict from tonight's MC, David Diamante, at the conclusion of what was a brilliant performance, which left, or which has left the Russian coaches stony-faced. And there is the moment of confirmation. The moment of coronation. Yuri Zakariev has just etched his name into the Aiba World Championship history books. He claims world youth gold and world senior gold on the global stage in the same calendar year. The first time the two events have been contested in the same year because of the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this man has capitalized on what is a unique opportunity to be crowned as world senior champion here in Belgrade, adding to the world youth success he enjoyed in Kielce, Poland a few months ago. Terrific series of displays. Sensational, absolutely sensational. And he has some good, good fighters up against him in the earlier rounds. Harris Akbar of England, a fighter I know well. Good, good fighter, got past him. Yuba Sissoko, an awkward, long, rangey kind of fighter from Spain, beat him. A 3-2 split against Aslanbek Shimbergenov, a formidable Kazakh fighter who's been brilliant in WSB down the years. And beat Shakram Gyasov, as I mentioned, comfortably in an earlier round. And then found the answer against a clever fighter.